through some through some ancient rumors I got my go diva queen on the scene serenity in my car Art in fact I'm tracking the artifact they trip on the moss yeah you trip on the moss baby you all right this is dose on Disney chip I mean tie water waves <laughs> word okay yeah I like that you know Disney out here getting money man for real yo <laughs> like oh yo Kingdom Hearts no joke Disney and Kingdom Hearts. You don't like Kingdom Hearts. You like Kingdom Hearts. Oh no, yeah. I I don't play it myself, uh, but you know I've seen the crave around it. You know, no joke. Like Kingdom yeah. Hearts, that it's that game. Straight up, it's that game. Like it made me feel like okay, Disney cool, but it, like it's more for like kids. Yeah. Then playing Kingdom Hearts, there's like dudes is like 35, straight yeah. out still playing Kingdom Hearts because like for real, it's like Star Wars or like your favorite like action like piece and then like Disney put together like for real like Mickey like Yoda in yeah. a game so like it's mad fun. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know it through that uh, French Montana song, Sanctuary. You oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, that's a dope song too though. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I even went back for the sample. You said for the sample? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah by actual one. I don't know. Yeah, Whatever like her that. name is like, but I heard that like as a middle school kid, like listening to that song for some reason, it made me like mad emotional. Mm. I was like, "Yes, I feel everything." I don't even <laughs> know what she's you. saying, but like, I feel it. Like, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, dope. Okay, yeah. Getting on Kingdom Hearts, you know. Let's get into you. Uh, you know, who are you? You know, where are you from? Um. Well, name's Oscar, and uh, or Oscar, my nickname, real name Daniel, but um. I live in Chesapeake from Virginia Beach, so like grew up in the whole area where um, it's like P.F. Chang's and um, Art Institution over there, um, but like before like all that was built like in Ashbrook Apartments like right up the block, that's where I used to live, but like grew up in like the Great Bridge area and stuff like that, but like mostly like loner, so like I ain't mm -hmm. like around no crowd of people or nothing like that, yeah. but like Hung out with like what, like three or five people mm -hmm. until like high school. And the high school, that's when like started like have more of a, of a crew and like have more of like an identity of like who I was. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I like dancing. That's dope. Yeah. I feel that. Let me get into it. Music. Let me see what that is. Like, legit, I was not supposed to be doing music. Like, mm -hmm. I just thought, like, okay, well, it's all right, but I'm going to write these poems. Like, ooh, that girl like poems? Let me write this for her. Wow, right. she ain't like that? Okay, cool. Well, let me just write my feelings down. <laughs> this sounds dope to music. I'm making music. Like, dope. Yeah, that's up. what's up. So, yeah, you think, you know, you, um, you know, it's great to have like a close knit three, five people you came up with, mm -hmm. you know, uh, real friends, you know, but you think that contributed to you getting into music and expressing yourself? Um, Truthfully, that all started at home because okay. like at my house uh my dad actually used to be a christian rapper mm. um named mcdc for like this old back in the day uh christian group uh, rap group called king's crew mm. so Out here uh, mm. okay so um well like around like virginia beach area but like um hearing his stuff and everything like that influenced me plus like with him being like rapper slash like dancing and then my mom like she actually like used to write like a little bit of poetry on the side like and then having a, a close-knit like home where like everybody like real like intimate as far as like feelings and like knowing thyself like all the peace and love type of like mm. uh, vibe so like that really like pushed me towards like the engine of my music mm. for real for real. Gotcha okay. See, how would you describe the type of music you do, which, you, you know, father being uh, or was? Is he still no music? Uh, nah, nah, nah. Okay. Hard working man, but like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Well, you know, with your father being a, um, you mm -hmm. know, Christian rapper. Um, Like, how did that like? Well, play? how do you like describe your style of music? Oh, my style? Yeah. Oh, well, from him, he was more like into the church. So, like, his style, like, would be, like, Christian, hip-hop, and, like, soulful type of music. For me, like, 
um, I actually don't cuss in my music. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly, people don't be picking that up. But like, <laughs> I don't cuss in my music. So mine's like, it's clean, but I'm more like, um, I heard somebody throw Neo Soul my way. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, I'm more like uh, hip hop, hate to say it, but like conscious type of like spiritual mm. type of uh, feel to my music and definitely like with R&B like more soulful mm. but like also I've been trying to like venture out to like alternative music or like pop music which I can't do because just part of being a writer and just branching out yeah but yeah definitely like hip-hop conscious uh R&B soulful mm. type yeah Gotcha, okay. Yeah, with you saying, uh, you know, you hate to say it, like, do you feel like that conscious kind of marginalizes you, kind of boxes you? Yeah, because, like, nowadays people, like, have, like, with different labels that they kind of um, produce or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. I remember, like, growing up, I feel like, oh, conscious, like, that's definitely, like, common, most deaf, um, one of my favorite uh, peeps that I look up to, Rakim and everything like that. Everybody who had like that that lyrical storytelling like made you think. Like I always thought, okay, that's conscious and that's dope. And then like I hear people nowadays kind of like downplay that. Like okay, you conscious, but like because you conscious, it's gonna be hard for you to branch out and do like some pop music or some trap bangers or something like that. Like just because I write a lyrical piece mm. and I'm talking about something real yeah. and I throw my vocab and make sure I use more of my vocab than just like the regular up there don't mean on the other side I can make a trap banger like yeah right they yeah they definitely try to put you in a box with that but it's, that don't apply to me so gotcha okay dope dope so yeah you feel like this um you know area has influenced you musically or where do you draw your inspiration from um that's what I've always tried to figure out because like since I've always grew up like listening to different types of music, like as far as VA having like a particular sound, even if it did, I never like truly discovered that because like the peeps I would mainly listen to growing up from VA is like uh, Pharrell, like Chris Brown, Clips, like everybody like around them. So like anybody mm-hmm. else, I didn't discover till like way later. So as far as I knew, like um, I didn't see like a particular sound besides like uh stuff that would sound like Pharrell so mm-hmm. like that's what it was to me so like different but not like on on no type of like okay this is definitely boom bap like all the way or oh this is definitely like hood um trap writer music like all the way mm-hmm. or this is definitely conscious like you got Timberland and Missy that be like throwing some bangers and it don't sound like something like you can find in one central location it sound like something like okay this sounds like a little bit like west coast sound like someone from the south this sounds like east coast so like i don't know if i had like a particular like sound for real for real mm. but yeah definitely for me like i think that's why I like with my music influenced by them i was able to feel like well i can branch out because i'm not gonna have a specific type of sound I might have like different sounds that I'm able to gravitate to that mm-hmm. would make it still like me. Yeah. If that makes sense. Okay. And you dance as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how how does that play into the music in terms of like you creating? Do you like, mm-hmm. you know, have to have a certain vibe to it so you can put some moves um, to it or I would say yeah, cause like with like as a dancer, when you listen to music, it's way different from when you listen to it like normally. Mm. Like straight up, like with dancing, with there's like musicality, like listening to it and thinking about, okay, this, I can do like eight count to that. Or like, soon as this comes around, it only takes me like 30 seconds and I'm able to like uh, freestyle to it and already know like, okay, whatever bell, click, whistle, whatever like that, I'm able to like hit that move like right there. Um, it makes you pay attention more uh, musically to your stuff. So it's like, um, on a regular side, it's like, ne- if I like never dance at all, I would listen to something and be like, okay, if I try to write a piece, um, if I hear a beat, I'm going to hit it like this with my lyrics and blah, 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 et cetera, right? Yeah. Just make it sound dope. 
but like having a dancing mindset. It's like, okay, when I hit my lyrics right here, when a beat drops, it would be dope if like either I don't say anything, let the beat drop. So like if a dancer hears that, they're like, yo, that's so dope because it sounds like mad clean. It don't sound messy at all. And I can easily dance to it mm. versus just like not paying attention to it and just like running lyrics through the whole thing and not really using the beat to the full potential. Mm. But like, yeah, dancing wise, like I feel like it really helps you like listen to music like so much better just cause mm. like you're able to like, oh dang, I'm hungry. <laughs> just cause you're able to um, just listen to things deeply. Yeah. For real, for real. Gotcha, okay. So yeah, that's dope, you know, it's like you have another insight that's a whole nother audience to tap into. Yeah. Yeah. This dancing scene is huge, yo. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, not just like no step up stuff like that, but I mean like all like across the world, like even in like VA, like different like huge parties, like nine times out of 10, like, you know how like your homie can be like, hey, yo, let me put you onto this new song. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of 10, there's a dancer that heard that song way before you. Yeah like straight up because they're always looking for like the newest stuff to like dance to or just do like a, a choreography of mm -hmm. these two so yeah yeah interesting information right there yeah man just yeah. check it out bro yeah straight up especially in virginia beach like there's a lot of like oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely mm -hmm. yeah yeah because i'm in chesapeake so i can't travel out that far all the time <laughs> right yeah. gotcha okay see so we're um you know two questions at once but they tie them to each other mm -hmm. uh dose you know what's that stand for dos and then where the uh, nickname oscar come from um dose is stands for death of simplicity mm. or like when i write it with a money sign like death of money mm. so like it kind of has a double meaning to it because two those in spanish yeah yeah so um Death of simplicity is just like me personally, like, I'm not saying I'm a difficult person, mm -hmm. but like, I definitely do things you in a unique way. So like with that, for me, I feel like it's death of being simple because I'm always going to try to find like an original way to do things because mm -hmm. like, that's just like my identity, like period. And then like, also like the flip side of dose is like number two, meaning like, Guys first, I'm second. Mm -hmm. And just like having that gotcha. like kind of keeps the creativity in my music. And then um Oscar, that came from my high school. So like for real, like at first, like I hated that name. Cause <laughs> like um I was actually in Georgia, like my eighth grade year of middle school. So mm -hmm. moving to VA, went to Western Branch. And like first year, like I'm in Spanish class and I'm like, what Spanish name you want since you came in the middle of the year. So I'm gonna let you pick one. <laughs> like, okay, well, how about like Uziel? Cause I knew a dude named Uziel in um, Georgia. I was like, that's a dope Spanish name, Uziel. <laughs> They're like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. And then like, um, I forgot what her name was, but my teacher's like, okay, cool. Uh, we have a new classmate, his name is Oscar. And I was like, wow, lady, that is not the name Damn. that I gave you, but I'll take that. So just like- on the spot, she just- Yeah, straight up. crazy. So like Oscar, like that was in my Spanish class. That's funny. And then uh, peeps in my Spanish class that knew me in track um, kept having Oscar going mm -hmm. as a nickname. So like pretty much everybody from Western Branch, unless like you was really close, called me Oscar. Like That's funny. A few people call me Daniel, so I just kept that because it just stuck. So, guys, you got three names. Pretty much. Yeah. And I hear Oscar more than my real name. So, like, when I hear like Daniel, I'll be like, I ain't doing anything wrong, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, let's dive into the music, man. Mm -hmm. You know, let's talk about the new tape, you know, drop uh, Novice. Oh, Novice Notebook. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Novice Notebook. I'm really proud of that, for real, for real. Because, like, it's a mixtape series that I'm going to keep going. Mm. Um, I so put it's going to be a part two, three. Yeah. Okay. So um, I put them out. Every page has 10 songs. So I recently, uh, a couple weeks ago, just put out um, page one and two, right? And then three and four will be coming sometime 
towards the end of this year, honestly. Okay. Yeah, but like um, with each page, it's like Dose as a character diving into the music like from start of things that I um, wrote from 2015 till like, you know, beyond, whatever. Mm. So um, with that, it's kind of like a journey through like the mind of Dose from like all, all the 2015 writings and like where I was at that point versus like now. So like with that, it's kind of has a timestamp on it. So like page one, first song is AM Jamming. And then uh, page two is PM Ting. Mm -hmm. And then uh, page three and four, um, they'll have a timestamp on it. And three, page three are probably gonna be like 3 a.m. type of like vibe to it. Gotcha, like, okay. Yeah, and if peeps are like into like the movie Get Out and everything like that, all yeah. the like black horror, basically, or the new age black horror and everything like that, like us, like mm. that's probably what it's gonna be like. Word, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but, that trailer look crazy. Hmm? So oh, trailer yeah, looks, yeah, yeah. And it's like mad interesting. Yeah. Like, and for like writing, like that's something that was always interesting to me about like, you know, the whole 3 a.m. hour and how what it, what it spiritually means and like you know dreamscape wise that's something that I'm really into as far as like mm. uh, dreams and like mindset different things that affects the mind like yeah. yeah so like this music piece is like actually me yeah so like all of this all the different like uh, parts of it and then my journey of life is like gonna be in there so like the people featured on it um are the people that literally like have made music with me so gotcha. it's not somebody that's like just random outsider like i don't even know like <laughs> yeah hey bro you look dope hey come on my mixtape like yeah nah. right right yeah okay. so it's the people i'm close to what yeah did you pick up on that i got five on it the mm -hmm. instrumental it's like you know we're going half you know it's kind of talking like about the two halves of a oh, person oh yeah, yeah yeah it's like we are our, our worst enemy yeah, yeah, yep, no joke. Like, I think that was recently that I looked into that. Yeah, that's like, creative. Yeah. Yeah. And like different things that'll make you think like that, like I legit dive into it just cause like, it's so interesting just like having like, instead of just seeing that one face of a person or that one identity of something, like be able to like, you know, discover like both sides of the coin. Mm. Like just different things that are like kind of like, draw you to like curiosity and everything like that yeah yeah i, I definitely picked up on that that was dope yeah so yeah i saw you um said that they were written but never recorded so mm. you know can we expect like some you know just spoken word or poetry or just thoughts mm -hmm. you know would that be translated into music or did you write them as songs um i definitely wrote those i wrote a, a majority of them as songs but like a good couple of pieces that they were definitely spoken where at first and then I just like okay what can I kind of add to this to make this more tied into a song because mm -hmm. like yeah that's something that also like drive me too as far as like writing like making a poem and I'm like you know what, let me flip this yeah because like it kind of like makes you makes you think more and just like Kind of want to dive more in depth and as far as like okay when this person wrote this song because it sounds like poetry i wonder what they meant let me go back and listen to it over and over again because mm -hmm. like every time i listen to it i feel like i have a different feeling or like i picked up on something different that i didn't listen to the last time mm -hmm. and like diving in the mind of like you know the writer or the um, artist mm -hmm. so like that's something else i'm big on too okay mm -hmm. that's what's up yeah, so what would you say is your main inspiration for like this project you just dropped? You know, and what would you um classify it as like a mixtape mm. album? Um, yeah, I classify it as a mixtape because mm. my my thing personally, um, I'm seeing like a lot of other cats do it, yo. Which like it's fine with you because like everybody everybody pace is like different as far as like music or just life period. But like me, I feel like unless I make it or or I'm if I'm personally at the stage in my life where I'm like, you know what, I'm where I want to be musically. I I have a fan base enough to 
uh, to the point where like I know if I put this out, like they gonna listen, then I'll drop an album. But other than gotcha. that, like it's always gonna be like uh, mixtapes, which mm-hmm. I mean I always thought those were important anyway and don't get as yeah. much play. So like yeah, the, it's gonna be a mixtape that's gonna be like going on for a while. The okay. whole novice series, pretty much. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can respect that because my favorite artist, you know, is like the mixtape king, Currency. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. straight up. Yeah, it keeps mm. the music coming. For real, that dude work ethic, like crazy. Yeah, I'm like, uh, heard your boy was like, literally write some, like, cool, I'm putting it out this day. Yeah, I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's a lot of confidence, man. Because like me, man, sh- I be you gotta uh, sit on it. And- yeah, and like going back to uh, kind of being your own worst enemy, yo. No mm-hmm. joke, like. Uh, I guess, you know, the trade-off of being a, like a deep thinker too, like mm-hmm. you kind of overthink yeah. straight up. So like with sure. me, I'll be like, let me put this out. Wait, no, but it, is this the right time? Yeah, it is. No, maybe somebody <laughs> needs to hear this or maybe like it would be better at this season. Yeah, I don't know. So like, yeah, I would need some time to like mm-hmm. uh, think about it. Hence why a lot of this stuff is from like 2015 that I wrote. Gotcha. But it's relevant now. So yeah. T- music is timeless. Yeah. Depending on how you, you know, curate it. But mm-hmm. yeah. How you feel about the Virginia music scene now? Now, um, it's definitely different, but like you you have to really like save like VA was a page, right? Mm-hmm. To find like different peeps that's like actually doing it. Um, music wise that's not like anybody else you gotta scroll dog oh yeah yeah for sure yeah because i noticed um um of course the sounds the sound is like dope but like of course it's like um what peeps got out like now so like you're gonna probably hear some of the sound like somewhere else but like as far as uh finding like dope artists like that's like true to themselves and like very original and like when you hear them, you're like, oh, okay, they straying from the crowd straight up. Like you actually gotta like dig deep and find, which mm-hmm. I'm still trying to find certain ones yeah. now. But like, as far as like the big ones I know personally, that's like out there. I know uh, Young Crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he doing it um, big. Yeah. Which like I noticed he kind of like with the scene how it is now. Mm-hmm. But, like somebody different, um, Mar P. I don't know if you heard it. You know Bar- Mar P? Yeah, that's a yeah. talented dude. Yeah, yeah that, dude, on the that dude, yeah, straight Shout up. Shout out to Mar P. Yeah, he, he definitely doing it differently. Like, yeah. him, like, I think, no joke, um, I saw him and was like, I've always been in my own corner as far as like, okay, I'm different from these peeps, like even wave-wise, so like, I'm gonna just do me. So that's fine. So mm-hmm. there's never been like a problem in that. But seeing him, I was like, what? And then like, I think I saw recently, like he got like on Funk Flex's like playlist or something like that. I was like, yeah. Okay, let me get back <laughs> in my corner to make sure like yeah. I'm really like trying to like surpass like certain peeps. Yeah. yeah. Which like I got, I legit got the talent to. It's just that like legit, I started taking things seriously as far as music like last year, mm. like straight up. Right. So like, um, even though like, I did a little bit of music like fresh out of high school, um, had a mixtape called a space tape, mm-hmm. um, which was dope at the time. Especially, um, shout out to uh, this dude named Cordell Cordell Riddick. Like he's very like musically like talented. Like, mm-hmm. and um, he produced everything on that, and. That was like a real dope stepping stone that I was able to like use to be like, okay, I know what this looks like. But like, sadly, I ain't taking that seriously till like mm-hmm. last year. It was like, okay, you know what? I got all the skill that I need to put to paper and really start pushing. Yeah. Cause like, there's no reason. And especially if you got a passion for it, like push it. Yeah. Like no matter what your talent is, like you got a passion for it, like definitely push that. Yeah, speaking of pushing it, man, what you got in store for New Year's 2019? New Year, yo, I got, I'm trying to definitely have some, it's been a struggle cause like uh, besides music, um, I work a lot and I'm actually a youth leader. Okay, yeah. congrats man. Yeah, thanks man. Well, not congrats, but what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> <laughs> salute. Yeah, salute. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> Hang dope. Hang around kids, yeah, that's, that's dope. Say, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah um, just doing all that, like sometimes it's hard to find time, but um, 
yeah, like, definitely trying to have some music videos in, and like, probably like some creative like ones too. Like mm -hmm. one creative one I can definitely say, um, definitely gonna have a huge project, um, not just on, like on SoundCloud, but like part of the novice series. Um, yeah, an example. That's something that's gonna be huge. Okay. And like I know people gonna gravitate towards, and it's gonna be on like all platforms. But like, yeah, like I ain't saying like a set date, but like, okay, yeah, that's yeah. something huge that I'm definitely I'm gonna do. And um, with that, like I'll have page like three and four to the notebook. Okay. So like that's those three are like like my main like pieces that I'm gonna have like nineteen. So anything else in between, mm. it's probably just gonna be like spur of a moment so you're yeah. like oh this sound dope cool single it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah like oh small project i got a lot of writing like i did this month might as well just give it to you guys yeah like, yeah but that's what's up man mm -hmm. yeah we can't wait to hear you know what you got in store yeah you know coming that's definitely you know keep us updated mm -hmm. um you know come back you know rock with yeah us. definitely yeah. Bro. Yeah, yep. I, I really mess with you guys. This is a dope setup for real, for yeah, real. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Yeah, hey, it's all because of y'all that we're able to do this. So, dope, dope, dope. Yeah, blessings. Yeah, but yeah, you know, check in with us, man. We got Definitely, uh, yeah. Dose. I don't even. What's your name? Oscar. Oscar. Hold up. What's your name? Daniel. <laughs> Dose, <laughs> yeah, we got Dose, three people Oscar, up Daniel. here. Let me stop throwing sounds. For this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but yeah, man. Look, we salute you for coming through. Yeah, definitely, bro. You know, really appreciate uh, it. Yeah, for sure. Yep, you can do the outro. All I don't right. even know what name to use. <laughs> D-O-S. Uh, thank y'all for having me. Really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, go check out Novice Notebook. It's a really dope piece, yo. It's like 20 songs. Like, it's new music. Like, for, for the new year, new year, new music. Uh, got another project, hopefully poetry, out, like, on all platforms. Check out the content. Mad dope. Like, peeps gonna agree. Tell your friends, your mom, your auntie, your grandma. Like, really. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. We appreciate you. And we out. Baby, you trip on a Mars. Baby, I'm cool through some ancient rumors I got. Michael Diva, queen on the scene, serenity in my car. I, in fact, I'm tracking the artifact. They trip on a Mars.